Hi you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley, I am a full-time reseller and I go to mainly the Goodwill bins to find items to flip online for a profit. And today I'm literally sitting on my kitchen floor where I was just photographing these items. At first I was like, you know what, I'm not going to haul these items. Like I really just wanna wrap this up. I wanna photograph as much as I can. But then I'm like, no, I have to hold these items. I have Kate Spade, I have Lily Pulitzer, I have some great vintage items. Like, I can't not show you these pieces. So I'm literally sitting down real quick on my floor, gonna haul these items, and we'll probably add a little bit to this video later on, maybe next week as I photograph more items. But before I put these away in my storage unit, I definitely wanted to show you guys. So let's jump right into it. Don't mind that bag over there, not trash. It's literally a bag of stuff that I took out of my storage unit yesterday. Old inventory that I have to take off of Vendu and all of my platforms before I can donate it. But I have it just sitting there right now. One of the things on my to-do list to do this weekend, but let's jump right into this haul. So many great pieces. So I went to the Goodwill bins yesterday and I got a ton of pieces. I got like 70, 70 something pieces total and I paid a dollar and 37 cents per piece. So for everything that I'm showing you in this haul, I only paid a dollar and 37 cents for it. So the first piece is this little Y2K number. I picked this up based off of style. Total Y2K in my opinion, fairy core, cottage, boho, all the keywords. The brand is International Concepts, Inc., women's size medium, kind of mesh, which actually I did not put mesh in my title. I'm going to definitely do that. This I'm only going to list around $22, but I feel like that's going to go quickly. This is the Kate Spade piece. I don't know how I found this. This was in a bin that so many people have looked at size six Kate Spade little floral dress now this isn't a very popular style but I will still be listing this around $40 and I should be able to get between $30 and $40 for it so definitely always happy to find great brand names like that now this piece my friend Cassie gave me she actually like just threw it in my cart I found it later and I'm like did you put that in my cart and she's like I sure did and I'm like thank you so freaking cute I actually found a lot of sweaters this day which I've been trying to be more strict about, but a lot of these, I just, they're too good. I couldn't say no to them. So this is vintage. It is a mohair blend, Chelsea and Campbell brand doesn't really matter. Plaid button up women's petite medium, but this is super soft. You know, mohair is usually super fuzzy like that. This is in really good condition. I'll be listing that around $35. This piece is one of my favorite pieces from the entire day. Not really because of the brand, but because of the style. Look at this, you guys. It's like a plain white button up with these funky patchwork boho sleeves, kind of Western style shirt, gingham collar, women's size large. The brand is Fashion Passport. And yeah, I just love this. There is a button missing, unfortunately, which I will note but I will be listing this right around $30. I just absolutely love this unique piece. This, again, don't know how nobody else found this. As soon as I saw the print, snatched it up, I knew exactly what it was. And I think I found this in the same bin as the Kate Spade. So Lily Pulitzer, this is called the Faye Skort. Super cute little skort, ruffle front, shorts, elastic waist, zipper closure in the back. This is a size eight. This I'll be listing around $30. Now this, you guys, I actually pulled from my closet because I found a Barefoot Dreams cardigan yesterday, size large, that is blue. It has pockets, open front, and I decided that I'm going to keep that one for myself. And I'm going to pull this one from my closet and list this one because I do like this, but I feel like I'm going to like the one with pockets better. This is like a wrap style has so much fabric, black, this is super soft, but it doesn't have pockets. And you know, I feel like I will just like the open front one better that doesn't have so much fabric. So I pulled this one out of my closet, gonna wash the one I got yesterday, keep that one for myself. This I'll be listing around $32, you know, Barefoot Dreams you cannot get a lot of money for anymore, unfortunately, but definitely still wanted to show you that and talk about that a little bit. Now this piece I was kind of excited about. Now it kind of just looks like a basic 
you know, Hawaiian button up shirt, which it is, but it's by the brand Coldwater Creek, vintage size 3X, and it is 100% silk. All great things going for it. Vintage silk plus size women's Hawaiian, perfect for somebody's little vacation. That'll be listing for around $28. This piece, now the next three pieces are all sweater vests. Like I said, you guys, I found a bunch of sweaters, but I feel like sweater vests kind of sell all year long. This is by the brand Kathy Lee. Now this brand, I do really well with dresses. So we'll see how this does. Size extra large, kind of point tail knit with these 3D detailing. Love that. That'll be listing around $32. Now these next two are definitely sisters. Like I'm gonna show you guys at the same time. Same brand, same size, same style. Freaking love them. So this is what the first one looks like. Black, kind of looks like a wreath there actually. So cute, embroidered. This is what the tag looks like. Size large, definitely vintage. And this is what the second one looks like. Same brand embroidered. I actually like this one better. I feel like the flowers are just, I love the multicolor. So freaking cute. Uh, this one I'm going to be listing around $35. This one I'm going to be listing around $32. I know not much of a difference, but I just feel like this one is more funky, brighter, kind of more unique. And then the last piece I'm going to be showing you right now is just this little sundress, rayon, pockets, Brand doesn't matter with these type of pieces typically, but yeah, size extra large. That I'll be listing around $23. Oh, I do have a couple more pieces that are Christmas that I'm going to be putting aside in my storage unit. Just wanted to show you real quick. These first two are kids pieces. Vintage. This one is a little velvet dress belted in the back. This next one is kind of like an apron dress or I think that's what you call it. It ties in the sides. Definitely, you know, you wear pants or and a shirt under it, but so freaking cute. Again, we'll be putting that to the side. Now, actually, I'm wondering, I feel like these go together, actually. Like, because look, <laughs> how am I just now realizing that? This probably over, goes over top of this. <laughs> Even better, but I'll be putting those to the side till the Christmas time. Same with this. And when I saw the brand on this, I was shocked. Like this is Lane Bryant Designs Collection. I was like, wow, I was not expecting to see Lane Bryant on that. Totally like so many details in that. Look at that. I could not leave that behind. So yeah, I'll be putting that piece to the side as well. In my storage unit, I have a bin for fall and winter items. I'm gonna try to put this in here. These definitely go together. Like, how did I not realize that? I even found them like in the same bin. Oh my gosh. Ah. Like, come on. Okay, what size is this? Definitely a smaller kid size. Oh, 3T. Oh my gosh. Mm, I cannot freaking deal. I said I imagine this at a in-person event in the late fall, early winter. I put that on an Instagram story and I don't know you guys, I've really been pondering doing some in-person events, so we shall see. But that is all for now. I am going to, you know what? Let's continue. So this is all the items that I photographed already and those Christmas items I'm putting to the side, but I also have a bag in front of me of items that I want to photograph today that I've not photographed yet from the same trip yesterday. So I might as well just show you these items as well. A lot of sweaters, like I said, you guys, but I, I couldn't leave it behind. Look at how cute, vintage, button up, floral, basic additions size medium this might actually be men no this is definitely women's definitely women's but i love that granny core cottage core boho this i kind of debated on definitely like not gonna get a lot for this but i love the style of it it's just by the brand timberland just notice they have that on the hood but little quarter zip 
color plop, color block. I can use the word gork core in my title for sure. This is a size small. I believe it's a men's, but yeah, probably only get like $20 for that one. Again, you guys with the funky sweater, I could not leave it behind. I found so many great pieces within just the first hour of being there. Alfred Dunner, size medium, made in the USA, floral, shoulder pads. <laughs> Probably list that one around $35 to $40. This, a viewer of mine, she gave me this sweater and another sweater as well by the same brand. This is Lauren Ralph Lauren, size medium. Normally with this brand, I stick to bigger sizes, but because of the embroidery, cable knit, all the things, like I feel like that's why I was okay with it being a smaller size that I'll probably list around $28 just because it's an out of season piece this oh my god I forgot another sweater you guys look at this now when you look at this when I felt this I was like hmm, I wonder what brand that is like I was honestly gonna throw it I wasn't even gonna look at it but I'm like nope look at the brand girl it might be something it might be something and I'm glad I looked at it because it is something it is free people size medium in great condition, little color block sweater. I don't know what this will go for. I need to look up the style again because it's out of season. Maybe twenty to thirty-five dollars. Another sweater, vintage. So cute though. Oh my gosh, I could not leave it behind. It has like metallic. Can you guys see that metallic in the red? The brand is Lay Venture, made in the USA. I don't think there's a size on it, but definitely like a small medium. And yeah, probably was at around $28. This definitely needs some work, needs some depilling for sure. But I was really excited. I know a lot of people say this brand doesn't do as well as it used to, but I, ra I rarely find this brand. So I couldn't say no to it. The brand is Theory, size small, little open front cardigan has pockets definitely needs depilled a little bit like I said as you can see but my depiller my sweater shaver will easily do that by the way you guys I now actually for like the past month but I don't think I've ever mentioned it I have an Amazon storefront which is linked down below I have like supplies and stuff like that I use linked there now if you use the link I do get a small little kickback nothing major but just wanted to let you know if you're ever curious about anything that I use it is linked probably in my Amazon storefront down below. Now this is a wool blend, which I kind of figured. So not really the right season, but you know, great brand, great classic piece for somebody. Oh yeah, this piece you guys. So this is gonna be the last piece I'm showing you. This is kind of gonna be a project piece. This is so stained, but I just could not see this going to the landfill. So I had to pick it up. This is by Polo by Ralph Lauren. Definitely vintage size, extra large men's polo. You guys, look at this big pony. Has a three on the sleeve. The color block collar. I freaking love that. But so much staining on it, you guys. I don't know. I don't know we will see so so much staining on the front i'm going to spray my oxyclean max force spray on this I'm gonna let it soak for a while and then i'm also going to wash it or i'm gonna let it soak in my five gallon bucket with oxyclean the powder as well just a little bit so we will see how that goes i think there's some staining on the back as well if i can't get it out i'm still going to list it i have sold a polo almost exactly like this before that had a little stain on it for like $28. So, you know, still gonna list that even if I can't get the stain out. So you guys, that is everything that I'm gonna show you today. Definitely a shorter video. I know my last videos have been a little shorter. I hope you don't mind just trying to pump out this content. It's Friday at like 3.30 though. Um, so kind of wrapping up my work day for the weekend and trying to get as much done as I can and I wanted to show you these amazing items I could not put them away before showing you so if you made it to the end I really appreciate you I hope you're having a great day and I will see you guys in my next video